Let's have a look at the new um, schematic views tool in Vectorworks that was introduced in version 2020 um, and has replaced the old plot and model view for vertical lighting positions. And it is, um, I would say, considerably better than the old tool. So let's have a quick look at how it works. So I've downloaded a fresh plan from a portal and I'm just going to draw uh, some booms uh, or a boom stage left to um, demonstrate. So first of all I'm going to create a layer for my boom. Let's create a new layer, call it um, LX booms and uh, it's all visible. I want to edit properties after creation. I would always suggest you do that to check uh, that the uh, elevation hasn't defaulted to something crazy like it has here, 16,000. I want it to be zero. Uh, making sure that anything I draw actually is drawn on uh, stage level. That's all good. And my stacking order, it's at the top, so that's also good. So it doesn't accidentally disappear. So it's active. Um, and my classes, I'm just going to check what's currently active. I want to be in positions and I am, so that's good. Okay, so I can draw this position. Now, lighting pipe, I'm going to start drawing roughly where I want to place it, somewhere down here, stage left. And I'm going to make this pipe four and a half meters tall and uh, end it there. Now I'm going to change slightly uh, the tick marks. Your PLX will thank you if you have some sensible tick marks on there. I'm going to make them 500 and split center. So now um, really easy to see roughly how tall, uh, how high your units will be rigged. But right now this pipe is lying on uh, on the floor, Z0. And I'm just going to name it, position name, call it downstage left. Boom. There we are. Okay, we have a pipe. Now. Booms and pipes. So now the next thing to do is I'm going to draw some fixtures on it. I'm just going to grab a 36 degree, import it. I'm going to select the destination folder. Now there's a little bug here. As you can see in your res in my resource manager, the file has a folder called lighting fixtures. But if I want to import, I do not get offered that folder. I'm just going to make a new one, call it LX fixtures. I don't know why it's not there. Press OK and LX fixtures appears next to lighting fixtures. So um, slightly buggy there, but it's a good idea to always make sure your resource browser is nicely sorted with folders, otherwise it's really hard to find things later on. So I double click this one and get the lighting device tool. And Command R or Control R if you want a PC makes the resource manager disappear and appear, which is quite handy. Okay, so my first one's going to be down there at 500. The next one is a little bit higher, and then just to be asymmetrical, so it's a little bit more obvious later on. I'll stick one right at the top. My lighting fixtures now currently all drawn at zero. They're all lying flat on the floor with my pipe. They have, if you look at your position, snapped to downstage left boom, which is what I want. Um, now, if I click on this pipe, I can change the hanging angle and make this a boom. There we are. All you need to do is change the hanging angle to 90 degree and it will stand up the pipe and make it a boom. Um, if you wanna have a quick look at what that looks like, from the front, uh, thank you. You can see it's a boom and there's our lanterns and you can see it's turned it, uh, it stood it up the right way around. So here's my bottom with the two lanterns lower and one up high. They're currently pointing over uh, off into the wings, but that's okay, That's um, we can fix that later on. Okay, going back to my plan, I have this boom here. Obviously now having this boom here makes it really tri tricky to actually work with it. If I click on a lantern, it's selected the top one. You can see from the Z value for one, two, five. But, um, you know, if I start putting channel numbers, label legends, everything on there, it's going to be a mess because I can't see anything. So I need to create 
a schematic view. I'm going to select just the pipe. And I'm just going to give myself a bit more space to view. Now, with just the pipe selected, spotlight, visualization, create schematic view. Um, I'm going to leave it on this layer. You can make a layer for just all of your schematic views, which might be quite handy. So you can just turn them on and off. Uh, you can put them on sheet layers, etc. Um, now the view is a little bit unintuitive. Um, I want actually the top view in order to see it lying flat, um, which is a little odd, but there you are. Press OK and it has created a schematic view and placed it over there. Now it, I don't have to leave that there. I can just drag that somewhere handy for me. You can see obviously the actual boom is still there. And also, if you look at your object info, when I have it selected, this is a lighting pipe in schematic view. If I select a fixture, this is a lighting device in schematic view, and I don't get all of my object properties. Um, if I click on the lantern over here, that's where the actual lighting device is. So it distinguishes between selecting a device in schematic view and the actual device. Um, now, if I click on this lantern here, for example, I want to know the height of it. It gives me a Z of zero, but that's because this is the lighting device in schematic view. In schematic view, this lighting device is at zero. If I want the actual properties of this lantern, I can go to lighting device properties, which then brings up the properties as we used to them. And it gives me the Z value of 1875 and um, all of the other information that I want. So if I want to nudge it up or down, you know, make this maybe exactly two meters lens height. I can do that in here. I don't want to do that um, with this set value because all it will do is move the, the schematic view up into the air and that's actually not very useful at all. Um, any Anything I change here in this schematic view in terms of uh, the lighting device properties will also affect where it sits in, in real life. So that's a quick way of doing this, uh, this kind of thing. I can then attach my label legends and so on. If I want to have a quick look at this, I made a view earlier um, of the stage left area. Here we are, there's our boom in the space. Let's have a quick look in uh, OpenGL. There we are, obviously they're now at the moment pointing off into the wing. Um, so it's a it's a quick way of uh, of showing um, of of drawing accurate um, booms um, and having a, a good view of them also in um, my plan. So if I also want to make sure that they're they're pointing the right way, obviously on the plan this looks fine. Um, I'll probably annotate it on my sheet layer to make sure it's clear that this is not just a single lantern hovering in midair in the middle of nowhere, but making sure it's, it's obvious that um, I'm indicating a boom position. I might, you know, turn the layer off uh, in my overhead and so on. Um, let's have a quick look again at the stage like boom view here. Um, so the way they're pointing at the moment, I don't really like that. Um, so let's just have a quick look at OpenGL. That might slow things down a bit, but that's okay. So if I actually select my three lighting devices and right click and focus them and create a focus point. So I'm going to pick a focus point. Um, pop it over here on stage maybe. Okay, you can now see they've come round. So it's showing them um, slightly oddly rigged here on this pipe. Um, obviously, you could um, draw actual boom arms and hang them on those, which would be the neatest way to do it. But for a quick fix, if I just select the pipe and um, rotate it 90 degrees, you can see they are now sort of hanging off a bit more like where they would really hang. But um, because I focused them first, my focus has moved. So I'm just going to refocus them again, select them all, focus. I'm just going to pick a 
point over here. Obviously in real life you would be picking your focus point a little more carefully. Um, but that's a quick way um, of just pointing them in the right way. And that looks a bit neater here in this space. And um, back in my layer plan, um, I've changed rotation here, but my schematic view is still the same. So where I want to show it on a sheet layer, I can still show it nicely. Perhaps I should just show you quickly um, how to do the uh, the old uh, key li uh, label legend. So I'm just going to make sure I actually have a label legend. Um, I don't at the moment, so I'm just going to quickly make one. Uh, I want color in it, uh, demand channel. Now there's using 2D and using 3D. I'm making this a ordinary 2D um, legend. There is a, a, a useful use for 3D legends as well if you're going into three-dimensional views and you want to uh, show information, but um, I won't do that in this little tutorial. Okay, make that okay, make it active, and then I'm just going to edit the layout. Oh, before I do that, I forgot about the conventions. Um, edit fields, make sure that my channel is a circle. I'm going to put a weak box around my dimmers. But yeah, it's, it's quite important um, that you make your channel number circled because that is a, a convention that is used um, and it makes reading plans much, much easier. Now, when I um, edit this layout, I need to make sure I select the circle and the channel number. And I'll just pop that over here. And the dimmer, no, come on, select the old. I'll pop that under there. And the color, I'll just pop in front. Okay, happy with that. Now, as I'm selecting all three of these, you can see it's the schematic view version. So I want to the properties of model objects. So when I have several selected, it um, shows it just slightly differently. So now I have my three lighting device objects and I can assign my label legend, use legend generic, thank you, okay. And there we are. So over here in real life, it does it as well, but um, because they're on top of each other, this is gonna look quite messy, which is why it's useful to put these on a different layer so you can turn that stuff off and on. Um, and then here in your schematic view, you've got everything nicely displayed. And obviously on your sheet layer, you put measurements on it in writing as well um, to create a nice view.